Hey everybody. Our good friend El Pollo Azul is back with some more wacky weapons for us to test out. Nine of them, in fact. Good old Arturo was uh, nice enough to leave his back door open. That's where they all are. Let's go get them. And here we are. Oh, these things on the plates here are uh, poison berry pie. There we go. That could come in handy. Uh, that ends up being... Oh, this is uh, like a protective suit. Hell yeah. Against this. We'll see more about that later. Coping with Mr. Virus. Yep, that weapon uh, shoots a virus. And it's contagious. That's why we need the suit. Yeah, well, that'll come in handy. No one reads directions anyway. Let's see. Nope, that is not a magical shovel. Let's see what else. Oh, there's some more pie. More pie. And you can even make pie. At the, uh, like a food spit or, you know, something of that nature. I'll grab what I can here. Hell yeah. The many armed bandit problem. Oh, man. It's tough to keep Excellent. up with some of these names. You have to leave. The Utopia Incorporator. I knocked over that mannequin. That I get for being rough. Oh, I don't want his kids to start eating this pie. Excellent. Because it's not good. That pie is like the uh, poison apple in Skyrim. Nice. I'm gonna go through all of these, ladies and gentlemen. Never you fear. I think I gotta go upstairs. I feel like I'm sure one or two. Let's see what he got. Oh, yes. Uh, dun, dun, no. No, yes. There we go. The FEV bludgeon. Uh, oh, we gotta pick it up yes. from the end. The hydrant. It doesn't even fit in the screen. That's awesome. All right. You know, get all your crap off this counter here, Takahashi. I've got a new delectable for you to serve. <laughs> it's called Poisonberry Pie. Let's see. That's under junk. I made a few extra. <laughs> well, you know, it's uh, people like pie. Well, I can only drop four. Well, that sucks. Oh. I wanted to put them nicely on the counter, Takahashi. Fine, the hell with you. Alright, I've dropped piles of this shit in every major thoroughfare. Oh, there's our first customer. Oh. Oh, is he essential? He's gonna lay in there cramping. Takahashi, what's with your noodles, buddy? People are going down. Did you wash your hands after your last oil change? Go need a Takahashi's mo. <laughs> That's what you get for eating ground pie, buddy. No, no one should eat pie that's been on the frickin' ground. Nice job. Ma'am, some ground pie? No. There's nothing more appealing than pie that's been on the ground. <laughs> Sir? Mmm. Well, that looks like steak, but I'm assuming it's poisonberry pie. Or as we like to call it here. Free ground pie. Oh, hey, no pushing, no shoving. There's plenty for everyone. Plenty for everybody. Oh, oh, we got another one. Oh, we got a twofer. Ma'am, you sure? These guys sort of want to eat it, but they're thinking, well, you know, it was ground pie, and now it's like ground corpse pie. Just not sure about that. Takahashi, the Board of Health has to shut down that shithole. Yeah, shut, shut Takahashi down. He's poisoning everybody with his goddamn noodles. Look at that. We got people dropping left and right. <laughs> All the smart people looking at each other go, I'm not eating any ground corpse pie. Oh shit, Mo. Buddy. How the hell'd you get it from way over there? Someone put it throw it in your face? Oh, I can't drag you because you're too fat. Let me take some of your stuff though. I was gonna drag him to the corpse pile, but you know, who am I to be neat? Oh yeah. Wait a minute, this guy was eating pie early. How the hell is he still alive? This guy's supposed to be strong as an ox. Oh. Well, there he goes. Face plant. 
Moving on. It's time that to feel the burn. <laughs> Basically, when you hit them with this uh, shish kebab like device, they will work out on flaming exercise equipment until they die. Oh no. Keep going. Richard Simmons would be very unhappy if you stop now. Oh, well, that's effective. And it's not counted as an aggressive act, which means you can just you can just roll right through here. Oh, I know. You don't know how to shoot, do you? Oh. Who, who are you going to shoot? It's not me. I'm not forcing you to exercise yourselves to death. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Who's out here? Oh, you are. Oh, you know what? He's in power armor. I don't think he's going to get on that bike. Yep, yeah, and they just burn to death. They sit there and fry. This one's pretty cool. I like this. Alright. Well, I'm burning those calories. Alright, let's move on here. This is the Utopia Incorporator. Let's shoot it next to these lazy bastards. It creates a giant rent-collecting computer. It collects rent through uh, using Mr. Handys to enforce, <laughs> to enforce various... I don't know, rent collecting policies? Let's make two. Because I haven't gotten a damn dime from this place. Bottom Town's gonna start paying up. I don't appear to be killing people. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I got some money? Teachers Union, boss. Oh, man. Uh, planning Commissioner. <laughs> That's right, everyone's getting their piece of the pie. Community engagement, that's right. <laughs> oh man, apparently I've created some political bureaucracy. Well, as long as I keep getting money, this isn't bad. Yep. Guess it was nothing. <laughs> I guess they're. I guess they're. Uh, no one's dying, so I guess they're just like scaring people into paying me money. Which you know what? I'll take. I'll take that. I'm not. I'm not ashamed of that. Yeah, keep paying me. So much like real life, this uh, creates some political bureaucracy to nickel and dime you to death. Right, Mr. Community Engagement. Exactly. I think these people are working harder. All right, I guess we'll get rid of this thing. <laughs> it's chaos. Everyone's quiet. Quietly working. Good. Get me my money. All right. Time to move on. Just direct the positive, boys. I'll be back. All right. Oh, you know what? I still have that mod on where uh, these people chase me down. Like the, the hunted mod or whatever that was. Well, let me uh, let me test out a weapon on this person. No, I've already done that. No. Uh, you have to leave. That's that's apt. Alright. I got a stealth boy on. Let's see if I can hit the bitch. Oh. Alright. That's interesting. Oh, she's still there. Let me hit her again. Okay, so... Alright. So, just striking her. Oh, okay. Hey. I get some friends. There she is, boys. <laughs> I like that. That's effective. Let's go try that on something else. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's behind the wall. All right. Let's sit back and enjoy the show. Take him down. Got That's trouble. pretty cool. I did not think that would work on a behemoth. Guess my good karma's paying off. 
That's pretty cool. That one gives a thumbs up. All right, so far I'm pleased. We have a few more to go, though. Let's go check them out. All right, this is the uh, FEV hydrant. Whack people. <laughs> they turn into <laughs> they turn into like super mutants that are kind of you know bugged out that are. I guess it's because you can't fit like that tiny head on a giant body. Oh, Nat, you were born for this. Oh man. I guess when you hit kids, they turn into behemoths. As long as she's not like a, a total bitch about it. Hey, sorry about that. Let me hit her again so she turns back. Ah, good. Now when you crouch, you're supposed to be able to turn them into like fools. She kind of turned color. Sneak up on somebody else here and see if I can ghoulify them. Oh, not this lady. She's busy cutting meat. No, I don't want any Brahmin meat, ma'am. I eat wild Brahmin only. Let's oh, Alright, he kind of changed color. Let's look at him. I think his body's a ghoul, but his head isn't. I think that happened to me once when I was, uh... There's a console command you can use to turn people into ghouls. Yep, same deal with her. Like her face didn't really change. It'll change color maybe, but not. Is it this idiot? Excuse me. Yeah, like the the body gets ghoulified, I guess, but the the face does not. Yeah, they just look like their throats cut. Whatever you're gonna ask, I don't know anything about. There you go. Okay, there's a little something for you. <laughs> don't open your mouth next time. Hey, buddy. All right, we're gonna test out the disease now. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. Let's give it to this guy. I don't even know if it's gonna work on on old Groot there. Now, uh, the deal with this thing is it's extremely contagious, but it takes days to spread throughout the population. And you need the suit, I guess, or you're gonna get it too. All right, it's been a day. It doesn't look that good. Maybe two days. I'm just going to keep waiting and showing you the results. He doesn't look good at all. Oh, what the hell was that? Well, that person doesn't look good. They're covered in blood, too. I think it's been a couple days. Groot looks okay. Yeah, that, day, that guy's a mess. Oh. <laughs> it's something you ate, ma'am? Did you eat ground pie? Perhaps. Hey there. Don't know you, Scabba. Oh man, sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you got to be patient with this one. This has been like five days. I waited like five days to watch people actually explode. Maybe six days. I don't know. I lost track. <laughs> I think he's essential for some reason. Oh, Mo, you look like shit, buddy. Oh. Oh, 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 man. I'm getting this all over me now. Hopefully this will just hose off. Well, uh, <laughs> time to hit the old dusty trail. Gosh, these poor bastards. You know what? I won't be able to wait up here. Ah, oh, crap. He hasn't fully spread, though. There's still some healthy sort of looking people around. Group still cooking his soup over there. Right, I guess we'll wait another couple days. Everyone needs a haircut. Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. Uh, not a Takahashi. I just won't eat the noodles. <laughs> How's business? <laughs> I'll make you wait through this whole thing. Two, one. Oh boy. You know, I don't see as many people walking around. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Sorry, you're all orphans now. Oh, something terrible happened here. Where are we are, Turo uh, exploded. Every piece in this here lady looks okay, though. I charge How's your soup, Groot? You need a haircut. 
John Superstar. Yep. This is uh looking pretty empty. I think I think this one works. So this is the Gek gun. Uh, basically, you take this puppy and fire it in the ground, and uh, a suitcase will pop up, a little briefcase, and you could build a settlement essentially in a, like a small area around this briefcase. Briefcase, Blech. and uh, I don't, I don't really see much of a use for this except for uh, building a bunch of turrets behind enemy territory, uh, like uh, creating a sort of a kill zone. I guess, you know, it's handy for building in places you wouldn't normally be able to build. Yeah, you know, like the Institute or the Pridwin. No place you want to cause them. Let's, uh, let's shift Groot here. I am Groot. Get some trouble started. Come on, guys. Kill Takahashi. He murdered all those people with his shitty noodles. It's time for him to go down. Metal bastard. Not smart enough to shoot at his head. All right, well, to drop a couple more of these puppies down. Uh, so this isn't permanent. It only lasts as long as, um, I think, after you leave the area, the stuff disappears after a while. I'll drop this here. Oh, he's probably essential. Yeah, he's done. No. All right, he's essential. Well, the hell with that. We won. Tough shit, Takahashi. Look, like making your shitty noodles. All right, next, moving on, and I believe it's uh, we're gonna be doing a little gambling. Check it out. This little number creates uh, a bunch of slot machines that dispense deadly weapons. And then once they use the slot machines, the uh, NPCs uh, are frenzied, <laughs> so they're duking it out with each other. That's a good way to clear out an area. Oh. You guys need to join in the fun, too. Oh, shit, is that an anchor? Oh, dude, that's awesome. He's beating up Mr. McFeely. Get out of there, Mr. McFeely. Oh, crap. Oh, man, that thing's awesome. We just decapitated that lady. Uh, I want that anchor. Oh, crap. Well, I can't shoot him with this. No. Well, this guy's got a, he's got a fat man. Who's beeping? Oh, yeah, a couple suiciders ready to go. No problem. This lady didn't quite make it. All right. I'm going to shib this guy. Get that... Oh, Mr. McFeely. A shish kebab, you say? Speedy delivery. Shish kebab. Let's take this guy out. Nice. Well, thanks for your anchor, buddy. Who? Huh. All right. I'll take this. All right. Bring it on, bitches. Oh, Cleo. Where the hell are you with people suiciding each other? All of a sudden, I shish kebab some dude with an anchor and you get all pissed. Oh, screw. Bucket of bolts. Oh, dude. Uh, you know what? I've come to the conclusion here that the anchor sucks. It's very slow. Doesn't do half the damage I thought it would. I think the damage is like 65. That's pretty badass looking. But that's part of the fun of random weapons. Alright. We're back at Arturo's. And to start things over. I uh I forgot a weapon. Oh yeah, it's just as I thought. I kept knocking over this mannequin. And turn hiding his this thing he's wearing as a cod piece or whatever's going on here. The mankind collided. Basically, sorry go. about this, friend. This thing will let you murder by mannequin. Mannequins will come dropping out of the sky. Oh, uh, sorry, buddy. You 
You'll get used to Diamond City security what? being unhelpful. Just kill them all? Like okay. <laughs> Oh, he's not dead. Hold on here. Ah, I'm starting to see how this works. <laughs> yeah, I see. Let's bury him. <laughs> see you later, Chief. <laughs> this is just wacky enough to appeal to me. I like this. The gonging noise can get a little annoying, I guess, but... Well, okay. So, they won't fall through roofs. Just so you know. Huh. Suppose anyone under a tent is equally protected. Oh, get him? Get him? He will not escape the mannequin apocalypse. Oh, look at that. He got under the, the canopy there. Oh, that's not going to work. I just embarrassed myself. Oh, you stepped out at the wrong time. <laughs> well guys we're down to the final weapon and the final scene of the video I want to thank you for your support it is greatly appreciated and uh ooh, oh that was brutal <laughs> this mod if you like wacky weapons and El Pollo Zul never fails to deliver I would give it a download at the very least you can kill people in interesting ways all right, hey, thanks guys for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Look at that, she's taunting me, bitch. Huh. Hey, Marcy. Hey. <laughs> I killed that old hobo, too. He's not even moving. Like impervious to mannequins. Die, die. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> See you later.